Schultz of Functional Spine and Sport. In this video in our video series for hip pain, we are going to be showing you the testing and the treatment we do for the hip joint specifically. So in our office, we do a test called supine hip flexion. What that shows us is how healthy the patient's hip is moving. A healthy hip, when, they're laying, when you're laying on your back, the thigh should be able to flex up and hit the bottom of your ribs. So our clinical assistant is going to show you what that looks like, and then we're going to show you some treatment as well. So as she's bringing her leg up, the knee flexes over the hip. And as the hip flexes, we want the thigh to be able to touch the ribs. So you can see here, that is a very, very big limitation. So the first structure we're gonna treat is the adductor magnus. That's a muscle on the inner thigh. This muscle can develop adhesion from running, cycling, or squatting, and it often gets overlooked or mistreated in other clinics. So we're gonna show you what manual adhesion release looks like in this muscle. Sure do. So what I am doing here is palpating to find the worst area of adhesion in this muscle. very close to the attachment into the hip. So our treatment motion is gonna mimic the test motion so we can remeasure the test after the treatment to see what kind of change we made. So I'm sinking into the muscle here and then I'm taking my tension into the adhesion and trapping it. As I go through this motion here, the muscle is sliding underneath my thumb and I'm trapping the adhesion here so we can break that down. So then after each treatment we do, we retest the measurement to see what kind of range of motion we improved. Uh, if you're not measuring a test, you don't know how to manage it, you don't know how to fix the hip pain. So that is something that we pride ourselves in our office is measuring a patient's lack of hip motion and then fixing that patient's hip motion. What that is gonna do for them in the long run is give them a healthy hip so they, they can return to running or biking, squatting, or any activity they do that involves the hip joint. So now we'll have our assistant come back in and remeasure this test. And now as you can see, she is quite a bit closer to her ribs. Obviously to get this test completely full, it's gonna happen over a series of visits. Um, we hope this video helps you. If you are getting symptoms in your hip, it's highly likely that you do have adhesion in that muscle in the, in the inner thigh known as the adductor magnus. And this is something that we treat all the time and we're very effective treating that. So stay tuned for more of our videos on how we can fix hip pain. Thanks for watching.